welcome to another episode of Student Nurse Taz. How have you guys been? Are you enjoying my videos? If so, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So for today, I will be showing you how to assess the skin, the nails, the hair, the head, and the neck. Ready? Review basic patient information and whether or not they're in isolation. If so, follow mm -hmm. appropriate procedure. Don't forget your hand hygiene you. and the glove. I'm your student nurse, Tess. What is, um, can you please tell me your name and your date of birth? Sarah Lynn, 2002, January 1st. Thank you. Let me just check that one. Performing skin assessment on your patient, one should inspect every inch of the skin. Lift clothing for visual inspection. Remove socks if necessary and check under the dressing. Inspect the color. Is it consistent with the ethnicity of the patient? Check for abnormalities such as jaundice, cyanosis, pallor, or erythema. Check the moisture. Are the lips slightly moistened or are they chapped or dry? Is there diaphoresis? Are there wounds, lesions? Are there any pressure areas? When checking, ensure that one looks at the back of the head, the hips, the sacrum, or other bony prominences. Check for edema. If present, note the location and severity as well as the pitting rate. One may need to take circumference measurements. Check for skin turgor. By tenting the skin, how many seconds does it take to get to normal? Rebound should be almost as immediately. Inspect the nail beds on both hands. Check for CRP or capillary refill time. What is the color? Are the nails pink or blue? Note the shape. Is there clubbing or scooping? Note the texture. Are they brittle, inflamed, sore to touch, or any bleeding? Is the patient a nail biter? When inspecting the hair, note the texture. Hair should be shiny and soft to touch. Check also for infestations or any odor. This can determine patient hygiene. When assessing the head, have the patient make various faces to check for weakness or asymmetry. Note the size and shape, as well as any movement such as twitching. Palpate the scalp. It should be symmetrical, smooth, and non-tender. Thank you so much, friends. I hope you've enjoyed that video and learned something from it today.